Neglected horses getting a new shot at life. Tonight, Jason Wheeler shows us one woman's selfless mission with an ending none of us expected. I'm just getting some mud off him. Oh, you're so muddy. Sweetest horse in the world, this guy. This is a place of starting over. Yeah, you're scared. It's okay. Last year, Daisy Erdman left behind greener pastures, just gave up her job working horses for a wealthy family. And it was a good life. To come here to start over at the SPCA of Texas. I just felt like I wanted to do more. She helps abused and neglected horses get their own fresh starts. If you look at his hip bone, there is just nothing there. So he's almost half of the weight he should be. Yes, yes. Wow. It's very, very devastating to see ones like him come in. This horse had just been rescued days earlier, emaciated and soaking wet. There are plenty more images just as ghastly. All of these animals were surrendered or seized last year alone. Rescuers were too late to save dozens more that had already died. Often, the owners had good intentions. People don't realize uh, how much, you know, hay costs and stuff like that and how much they eat. Yeah, and they just get in over their heads. Yeah. At the SPCA, the survivors are retrained. What am I helping him so with? So if he wants to get silly and buck or whatever, he can do it while I'm not on his back. Ah, uh, okay, so that See, gets yeah. this out of his system. Yeah. And they are replenished. Now you're gonna just take some in your hand, flat like a dinner plate. Aw, you're a sweet guy. You oh, just, you're hungry. He's a hungry, hungry grown boy, or at least he thinks he is. <laughs> they tend to come in that way. Has he come along like 10 pounds, 20 pounds? Oh, no, 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 no. You, uh, like hundreds, hundreds. Hundreds of pounds. Hundreds of pounds, wow. yeah. They go from that to this. He doesn't need to be called a rescue horse the rest of his life. He needs a home. And usually, just as Daisy gets attached, they leave. The best part about it is just seeing them go to that perfect person. Mm -hmm. This branch of the SPCA doesn't just do pet adoptions. Last year, they helped a record 162 horses find new homes. Really good homes, like this one in Farmersville. It looks like a horse's paradise. What's life like here for a horse? I think it's great. We provide free choice hay, which allows them to eat you know, all they want. They have huge pastures, as you can see, they're not overcrowded. Jennifer Feebrands and her husband, Tim, have adopted 10 SPCA rescue horses. Once they get the comfort of knowing that they're safe in their home, they just, it's like, whew, they just breathe. Good boy. Back at the Good SPCA boy. of Texas, we thought we fully understood now why Daisy left the good life to come work here. But then she revealed this. I grew up uh, in foster care. I think I kind of like feel for the horses a little bit, I guess, from the way I grew up. And if you think about it, that's exactly where these horses are right now. Just being in a new home and you know, no one really tells you why you're here, yeah. what brought you here, stuff like that. This truly is Daisy's herd. You brought it out of me, but yeah, it's an incredible experience. All right, hug. We got to do a hug. <laughs> In McKinney, I'm Jason Wheeler. Some happy horses and uh, happy Daisy, too. Very nice. She Very is nice. the perfect person to care for them.